Hello, what's up? I'm just saying. Long time, long time out. Well, I've been in situations like that, okay? Bitch, no, you weren't. Seriously, it's crazy out here. A real good house with Boya. What's up and welcome to another episode of Real Hood Talk with Toya. OMG, we have breaking news. Word on the street is we still have 30 and 40 year olds out here on the block selling dope. By dope, I do mean that Krenak, okay? I got Krenak, yeah, I got Krenak. Got that Krenak. Yeah, I got Krenak. Now, I'm no stranger to grinding in these streets, you know, but if you still that old and still trapping, it's time for another profession. And I use the word profession loosely. You feel me? Get a fucking job, even if it's McDonald's. Hey, isn't that Calvin? Heard he got a job. About time he got himself together. Hmm. Wonder where he's working. Welcome to McDonald's. May I help you? About time he got himself together. Hmm. I mean, I'm pretty sure you have a family at home, which <laughs> brings me to the women that are with these motherfuckers. One word for you. Dumb. He's known for having 11 kids and 10 baby mamas. Okay, how can you sit back and watch your man self-destruct? Man. Then I had a nerd to post on Facebook, I love and miss my man. I can't wait till he come home. Like he worked the night shift or something. You know what I'm saying? Really? If you're a real woman, you'll help him get a stable job so he can be an asset and not a liability. Message. God did not put man on this earth for you to send him money, put money on his books, and write him letters. I'm just saying, that was not the purpose. You know, man don't work, he don't eat. If you don't work, you will not eat. Just wake up at 9 in the morning, and you lay down on the couch, surfing the motherfucking channels and shit until 9 at night. You got to get up, get out, and get something. So if you don't work, you don't eat. That was the reason that God put man on this earth, to take care of his household, not to put them in jeopardy, okay? Oh, one more thing. Let me clarify something for real. Pimping, I repeat, pimping is not an alternative. You need a pimp like me in your life, man. For real, though. <laughs> yeah, man, you know, out here on these streets, real man, you know, South Dollar, man, we don't respect number real bitch, man. I don't give a damn about no fake ass hoe. Just like I don't give a damn about no fake ass nigga, man. You know, yeah. all of them is the same to me. Both of them got pussy. Really? All the real niggas and all the real bitches, man. Y'all my family, man. I love y'all, man. You got these guys number one. <laughs> okay. And for the women, neither is hoeing. FYI, if you got a nigga at home and you call him daddy and every time you go out and hoe or you get on the pole, you bring him your money, that's not cute. Message. Not at all. Actually, it's a little disgusting. It kind of made me throw up in my mouth a little bit. You know, it's nasty. Especially if you have kids. <laughs> That makes no sense to have them around that bullshit. That's setting them up for failure, whether you know it or not. You know, bottom line is, if you don't receive a W-2 every year, or you don't file taxes each year, you're unemployed, boo-boo. That's just it. You're unemployed. You know, this has been another episode of Real Hood Talk with Toya. Shout out once again to our sponsors, Prestige Media Group, CEO Charlie Hustle. What's happening, bro? We in that thing. Peace out.
CL Hustle Productions.